What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Mail Ticket Podcast. I am your host, Grace Henderson. Today, I'm here to give you the inside scoop on the entertainment industry. We have a couple of special guests with us today. Would y'all like to introduce yourselves? What's up? My name is Rudy Jackson. Hi, I'm Kelly. All right, y'all. Basically, today's topic we about to get into is the Chloe situation. I'm sure y'all are familiar with the situation. You know, it was all over Twitter. That shit got blasted on Twitter. How many? Was that like a, a year ago? A couple years ago? I don't know, but basically it's resurfacing. If y'all were on Shade Room today, you would have peeped it, but, um, you know, Chloe's back speaking on it. She's basically saying that there's, like, victim blaming, that they're going after her and not necessarily Tristan. Do y'all have, like, a take on the situation? What do y'all, what do you guys think about it? Um, Um, It's a 50-50 because she's to blame for continuing to go back to him this whole time. Obviously, he ain't shit. She should have seen that from the, Okay. Obviously, if he's been cheating on her, she knew that from the beginning. Shouldn't have kept going back to him, but so I don't know. Right. I do think that's on her, but that's not everyone else's place to judge whether she should stay with him or not. That's her own personal choice. Yeah. I think that her statement was just like in general, obviously it's to her, but I think in general she's saying like women are blamed for men cheating, mm-hmm. which I agree. And I feel like that's not, it's never the women's fault. That right they're getting cheated on so i definitely agree with her i feel like that's the man that's his his inner issues and like things he has to deal with himself so i don't think it's her fault no for sure i agree um as far as like her you know back to the jordan situation when she was like coming at jordan for you know like um the whole thing basically like she was publicly coming at jordan because she said that jordan had went publicly and like lied about the situation so she was like if tristan had spoke on it publicly and lied about it she would have addressed him too but like, what do you think about her calling Jordan out? I remember she was said she said that um, she blames her for breaking up her family. Like, do you think that's true? Do you think that's a fair statement? Like, what do you guys think? I have no comment. No comment. Neither. No comment. I don't want to talk about that. But I feel like we can do like in general. In general, when a woman cheats or is with a man that's taken, in general, mm-hmm. um, does the girlfriend or the wife or whatever blame the girl? Um, or I think does she in the, blame her husband? or does she blame her husband? I think in that case, like if you're close to the source, like if you know the girlfriend or wife and you're doing that, like obviously there's a issue there. You know what I mean? Got it. So, okay. um, and then like, what is your guys's idea of cheating? Like, what is cheating to you? That's a very, very, very hard question. <laughs> Cause there's like people that think that, you know, if you're texting somebody that's cheating, uh, I there's think, people that think uh, that. cheating is a physical thing or, and, or if you just have some type of, I don't know, is, is an emotional. Have you guys ever been cheated on? Yeah. Oh, damn. Have you ever done the cheating? No. When I was like in junior year of high school. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we're a little savage. <laughs> like, uh, okay, okay. I went to my first college party and I was like, she was wilding. Sorry to my high school boyfriend, but. Damn. <laughs> Does he know? Yeah, I told him the next day. I was crying. I was like, I'm sorry. Dang, he didn't take you back? You did. I oh, stayed with him. Period. What? <laughs> <laughs> now y'all are I think cheating is like, especially now that we're grown, I think cheating is just like, I don't know. I feel like it's whatever you clearly wouldn't want your partner to know or, like, what you wouldn't want to do in front of your partner. Like, that's Got obviously it. cheating because you're lying and you're hiding things. Mm. Anything you would have to hide. But then again... But then, so- like, I don't know. But then now it's, like, especially if you choose to date a certain type of person, like... You're saying just, it comes it with gets, the territory? No, no, no. I don't think that. I think it just gets tr- tricky. Mm. I it. don't think it necessarily, like, gives them a pass, but it definitely gets trickier. Okay, okay. But the Joe Schmo on the street cheats, so. That's the worst part, bro. The what? It's like The Joe think- Schmo, like the a random person down the street, cheats. Mm. People so it's think like- if you're, you know, oh, well, you're dating a athlete or you're dating a celebrity, so of course they're going to cheat on you. And it's like, you could date a guy that works yeah. at Walgreens oh, and no, he still sure. might cheat on you. So it's like, which one are you going to, which direction are you going to go? No, I, the sure. direction you should go is whoever you're you genuinely attracted you to and who you actually like. But it's like, right. no matter who it is, it's. Bound to happen. Do you, you think Chloe's cheated on though by regular Joe Smo or celebrity? Did you hear that voice coming from? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? God, God is that you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that's a that's a valid question. Grace, you answer um, that. Yeah, go ahead, Grace. Let's see. Would I rather be cheated on by? Uh, I wouldn't. You wouldn't rather be. I wouldn't. Cheated yeah, on I wouldn't. Yeah, you gotta pick. There's one. no answer for that. Necessarily. I wouldn't. Probably in a Rolls Royce or a Honda. 
There you go. That's the question. That's the question. I mean, sh- hmm. <laughs> You know, it's wherever my heart's at. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping that like, no, you know, like I don't like, know. I don't. The Rolls Royce first. person could right. not be giving you any financial support. So it's like, you exactly. know, what I'm no, it literally but does not matter. Rolls Royce. No, but I'm just saying, if you're talking about money wise, the Honda guy could be taking his Paying Walgreens check and giving you. 50% of it because he cares about you the Rolls Royce guy could just be like and it's not your Rolls Royce right, right. It's, so not, it's, like, it's really right. not benefiting exactly. you in any way it's about how much they care about you what and are you willing just to take a little picture with the RR <laughs> that's all you get is it worth it is it really worth it on top of that from him what'd you say what if you got a Rolls Royce from him as well oh if it's my own oh that's different it's my own Rolls Royce he copped that shit for you if he bought it for you that's different Man, so, I don't she, know about so, that. So he can cheat on you then at that point. No, it's not that he can cheat on me, but I didn't know it was my own Rolls Royce. That's not the deal. <laughs> said it changed That's the not the question. Changed the narrative. That's not the question. <laughs> yeah, nah. Um, and then do you guys is Chloe wrong for going back? Like the first time, y'all think like if you get cheated on and you go back to that person. What do y'all think? Like, is that... Do what you want to do. That's your own that, business. Yeah, right. That's not my place to judge someone for going back, for yeah. getting cheated on, like... Especially when you have a family I feel like someone. that's weird Yeah, to judge somebody for that because you don't yeah. know them. Like, that's No, weird. 100%. I and it's like, weird if you do know them because why do you care? Like, that's their business. That's what they want to do. Like, business, right. Yeah, I feel like it's because it's so public. People, like, obviously are going to voice their opinions on it. So, yeah. people um, at home think that they know the scenario. I'm like, y'all literally know what is posted on the shade room and that's all you right, know about yeah, the yeah. scenario like exactly. these people are living their everyday lives and shit is happening on a daily basis right. that you never know about exactly. so it's like that's just weird to pin to put an opinion on that i yeah. feel like no for sure oh that's my alarm sorry important meetings important meetings grace was late so now we have our work stuff coming into the podcast. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sorry. <okay. laughs> They've been coming at me all morning, y'all, because I was late to this shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not arm. usually late. I'm not like, you know, duty calls. You know, <laughs> but I'm here. And that's all that matters. Okay. Um, have you guys personally ever seen infidelity on set? Hmm. <laughs> that would be a rudy question. I've never been on a set. Yeah, I Actually, I have, but not with like a lot of people. Got it. So. Routine. Um, I definitely have seen many artists who supposedly are in a relationship uh, trying to, you know, conversate, flirt with, get contact information from, you know, models or whoever might be at that set. But, you know, that's just how that's just how it is. And like we said, when you when you are signing up for a certain scenario, you know that certain people are more likely the environment that they're in, they're more likely to do certain shit so if you want to date certain right. people you think it's hard for these industry men to be like um, loyal. loyal because they have so much access and like yeah. you know with the girls like nah, you know like throwing themselves with them and stuff like that like every day like it is like if you yeah. had all the i mean it doesn't excuse it but it's like i was about to say if you had all the finest men throwing themselves at you which <laughs> maybe <Let's> you. <laughs> but, you know what i'm saying yeah. i think it's That's definitely that. hard for them just because well, one, we live in L.A. Like, it's hard to settle down with one person here just because men have so many options, but girls have the same amount of options. I was, you, like, I just realized that to myself when like, I just said that. I'm like, oh, we feel bad for them because, like, yeah, you guys have everyone throwing their ass at you every day. Yeah. So, so right. Do we have, we yeah. have every single right. guy trying to get at us every day. And, oh, it's so easy to just say no. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. we don't we don't just yeah, go just have sex with every single one of these attractive men that tries to talk to us. We have self-control and we're selective. Of, I mean, not every girl is. There's plenty of girls that are not like that. But <laughs> girls are much more likely to just be like, okay, no. Also, a thing with Los Angeles that I've learned, not, like, maybe it's not just L.A., but especially out here, I feel like polygamy is such, like, a normal thing. Like, guys just have multiple girlfriends, and, like, that's normalized. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't need, like, if it's a common consensus. Come be me. Like, that. <laughs> two girlfriends? That's crazy. Two girlfriends is That is OD, crazy. Like, yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> That should be mad normal out here, I feel like. That's like, crazy. People, That's okay. And it's like, you know, if it's a common consensus between, like, the two partners, like, yeah, we finna, you know, do our own thing on the side, but, like, publicly we're together and that's that, you know what I'm saying? If that's the situation, then cool. If you guys have an understanding, I feel like that's straight. But it's like when there's no 
understanding and people are like getting publicly embarrassed like that's when it's really yeah yeah i agree but i think that's why people like at home who aren't involved with the hollywood life that's why they're so shocked it's such breaking news when they say oh so and so was seen out with a girl and it's like we see that every single day but at home people have no idea that it's so normalized like to be like that and then they see like all these things like you know what the internet wants them to see which is like the relationship goals you know what i'm saying like Mm -hmm. people be like posting cute pictures of couples and shit but then you see them on set just fucking cheating and shit Mm -hmm. like that you know what i'm saying so it's like you know it's all perception it's like what they want us to see but you know behind the scenes like being on set being around industry shit we see everything yeah long story Um, short don't base your relationship goals off of what you see on the relationship internet. goals is fake. Exactly. Yeah. If you have relationship Cabbage goals, book. that's weird. Yeah. And who's some guys who has like multiple, multiple girlfriends that y'all possibly would date? Huh? No one. I'm so, not so, with so the polygamy so shit. So I ain't gonna lie. Cannon. Multiple I'm girlfriends. So, so Nick Cannon. That's O D. Wait, what? If yeah. he had multiple girlfriends, would he, would we holler at him? Would we try to talk to him? Yeah. First of all, if Nick let's get this straight. Me. Let's get this straight, y'all. I don't do the hollering. <laughs> I don't think none of us do the hollering. Do you? Do no. I hear guys? Have no. you? Well, Wait, we don't holler back if you holler. No. <laughs> uh, no. Even if if you have Polygamy more than more than like D-ray, one baby mama, just, mama, yeah, it turns me numbers. off when uh, like when a guy is just like so thirsty and trying to talk to everybody and just like so accessible. Like that is, I'm like no. So if you have more than one girlfriend and people know that. Why, yeah, why would I want to be the third girlfriend? That sounds crazy. Question That's up. nuts. Question. Y'all can drink if you don't want to answer this one. But have y'all ever had a threesome with a celebrity couple that's, like, well-known? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, or just no. known? No? Have they, have they ever tried? <laughs> have they ever tried? Why are you looking at Kelly? <laughs> I have no idea. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Why are you, hey, yo. why are you looking at me? <laughs> I've never. Rudy, is, is I don't know why Rudy laughing. laughing. No, I, I've never done that. Yeah, I've never I, done that either. Yeah. Have they ever tried? I don't think so. I'm trying no, to think. I yeah. don't think so. Nah, I've never had a. She was a so sure time. staring at me. Nah, I swear. Damn, <laughs> yeah, she knows something. That's crazy. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. And then, have you guys personally ever had, you know, Somebody who's in a relationship trying to get at you. If so, who? If you don't want to answer, take your. I'm not saying who, but they got to take an actual shot. No, that's why we brought the mimosa. No, no, no. If you don't answer the question, it's for the shot. No, that's why we brought. No, we got these. Had a vote the mimosas. What? (laughs) We'll drink the whole bottle of champagne. No, you don't he know. He said mimosas don't really count. Be, that shit wasn't yes, down. We will no, really be. having fun with the mimosas. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We can drink this whole <laughs> cup <laughs> instead of take a shot. Yeah, how about we chug the whole thing instead of take a shot? That's equal. It is, definitely. No, nah, I gotta add more mm-hmm. to it then. Okay, uh, yeah. That's fun. No, no. <laughs> Mine's basically <laughs> trying to get y'all drunk. <laughs> nah, tell me why. <laughs> it's basically clear. No. Um, what was the question? The last question I just said was, um, have y'all ever had somebody mm. try getting at you that's in a situation and then... Um, that happens every single yeah, day. I was going to say every day of the week. Multiple but I will not just close any names, but yeah. every day of the week. We're not doing no exposing on here, you know what I'm saying? We just we just speaking on But shit. it happens all the yeah, time. It and it's that, that, when guys do that and that happens to us daily, that is what causes distrust in relationships that we have because it's like, okay, if... If the most gorgeous, amazing girls, their boyfriends are trying to talk to me, then it's like, how could I trust any guy that they're not doing the same thing to oh, everybody no. else? I'm at the point, like, Los Angeles has conditioned me to think that everybody, ooh, that everybody cheats. Like, I think that's just, like, a thing. Like, I don't think it's necessary. I think, honestly, truly, like, a very mature answer to me, I think it's just really hard for men to be faithful to, like, one person. Just, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I why just think it it's just though? not in them. Like, I think it's just, not, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like it's just not in them to be faithful to one person. So we just have to accept that and we just have no, to. No, I don't think people should accept but that, but I think I truly believe that they just can't. Like, mm. physically, mentally, I just think that they're just not strong enough. They just, the mm. ones that get away with it are just good at lying. Yeah. Mm, damn. Um, and then as far as, like, you know, the double standard, if a girl cheats, Break the it's news. Nice. Y'all, relationship over. You're a, a whore. Shorties, you're you're a whore. Like, wives, girls cheat all the time. Uh, but if they you think that find out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think that like the guy knows that or you 
And like, Pro- probably not, but that is very, I feel like people don't realize how common that is. I feel like, yeah, I maybe, feel like it's, maybe girls are better at having it though. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'm like, I don't or know. Or guys never... just have such big egos, they don't suspect that of Yeah, the maybe girl. that. Maybe. Like she would never, she would never step out on me, or she would never do this to me because I'm so and so. Right, but so. we can agree that there's a double standard. I feel like, like if a girl finds out that her guy is cheating, it's very common. You know, the girl just is gonna like, take it uh, back because yeah. it's just like she has to deal with that. But like if the girl cheats, it's like we're you're done. done. Forever. Like yeah, yeah you're canceled. Like, you're disgusting. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, never I think it's a, a point of power though. Yeah, no, like I think sure. if if the man is the powerful one in the situation, mm. they automatically assume like, oh, I'm providing for you. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Like. Where, you, where else you gonna go? That's another thing. Is like if a guy is like, <laughs> where else you gonna go? That's what they think. <laughs> for real. I mean, shit. She has a point. They like, really think that. Yeah. If a guy is providing for you and you're 100 percent dependent on him, like, does he have you know a right to do? No, what but that's what they. Like, I'm saying that's their mindset. That's their like, mindset. I don't think that's right. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you think that even if a relationship isn't like 50 50, that that there needs to be an equal amount of respect on both sides or i think i i think i know girls that probably are 50 50 with their guys that have cheated and guys taking them back mm. so i think it is a powerful thing like it's more of like an ego thing and a power thing mm. to be honest okay, okay like you never know if there's some couple in college or, like are living in a dorm together and the girl cheats and the guy takes her back you know what i mean right. yeah no, like there's situations sense. like that that probably happen for sure. Um, so, Rudy, I know that you, like, do videos occasionally here and there. Like, how did you start off in the industry? Like, how did you get into this? Um, when I was 19, I dropped out of college. Me and Kelly went to college together. That's how we know each other. But um, I dropped out. I wanted to start doing modeling. So I moved to New York City. Then I moved to uh, Miami. And then, you know, my modeling wasn't... I mean, I, I did modeling jobs, whatever, here and there. I wasn't making that much money, whatever. So I moved to L.A. And I was working at a restaurant in Miami decided to move here and then um i was working at a doggy daycare <laughs> when I was so cute. Here. and then uh one of my friends had posted something about working with emails actually and mm. i um i decided to submit and i got my first music video it was the heat um and um that's a good ass yeah, first video yeah, exactly. the fuck? <laughs> it was chris brown and gonna nah, heat yeah. video and after that um yeah i just started booking hella videos and that made me realize like okay i can easily get a lot of work here mm. and um after that i just started booking a lot of videos and then i and then after a while i was like you know what i was on set all the time i saw how it operated mm-hmm. and so i was like i want to start you know working on the business side so that's when i hit up emails and i was like look I think I have a, a strong business mind when it comes to stuff like this. I have a lot of creativity. So we sat down and talked about it. And I started um, working as emails assistant. So now I work for Mail Ticket. And I do casting. I do, I do all types of stuff. So Fire. And just a tribute to Mills. Like, I don't know if y'all know who this podcast is really hosted by. But it's emails himself. You know what I'm saying? He's really, like, the only casting director I'll work for out here. Because, first of all, it's... You know, how he carries himself as a casting director. He's very professional. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of casting directors that will, like, you know. Weirdos. A lot of weirdos. A lot of people that will just take it out of, like, professionalism and try to, you know, like, get what you all say. All this, like, bullshit. So, Mills is the only one I work for. He literally, it's in the same way, he likes to put people in position. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he booked you from the jump. Like, he was booking me for major shit off rip. Like, he does that. And, like, he only books for major shit. And also, as far as, like, business you know like if you guys are have like any potential with business and stuff like that he's willing to like sit down and listen to you and see how he can work here you out yeah that's something i really respect somebody that's like able to like be like sit down and talk business with you and like really hear you and try to like see like how they can help you like that's something you don't find very often out here so yeah just a tribute to mills he's back here i don't know if you want to step in but yeah Okay, um, and then we have Kelly as well. Would you like to speak on, you know, how you got into the industry as well? Um, yes, I'm Kelly, and I work at Interscope Records, so I work at a record Hi. label right now. But, um, yeah, so I, my journey did not start in music. Like, this was my first job in music ever, and I played basketball in college, so Dope. I started okay. working at ESPN and then Fox, and then from there, I was just living in L.A., working at Fox, and I just would meet so many people in the industry and in music, and music has always been a passion of mine, so one of my friends was like, you need to, like, work for a label, or you need to get into music somehow. So he connected me with people at Interscope, and then I got a job there, and so I've been there for, like, a year and a half now. Fire. And, and what does your job amazing. entail there? Like, what do you do um, for Interscope? I don't really want to talk about it. 
Okay. I can't really like say a lot. No, you're good. So, I didn't yeah. that bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Um, but no, that's dope that you were like you were able to like just transition straight into like yeah. the business aspect. Eventually, I want to do. I can talk about what eventually I want to do. Okay. Eventually, I want to either do like like touring and events. Mm-hmm. Um, recently, I just like got into that like with a couple people at Interscope right now. So. Hi. Not into it, but I, like, talk to them about it and stuff, and it seems like something I would like to do. At first, I wanted to work, like, hands-on with artists, but okay. I don't know if I want to do that anymore, but we'll see. Yeah, like, maybe artist like, management? Is that what you're Maybe, saying? like, A&R, but... Okay, well, yeah, Kelly, um, we work at this festival called Black on the Block every month, um, and it's, it started off as Black-owned businesses just um, selling whatever they have, clothes, candles, whatever, tattoos, but the, it's turning into more of, like, a festival vibe, so we ha- there's DJs every month it starts turning into like a lit party at the end of the night so we 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 just met recently about um having like artists uh perform every month at it so we're trying to find like you know people like up and coming not up and coming but still popular to where they would want to uh you know perform there so that's something that we could definitely collaborate on but i know i mean we can collaborate on music videos and everything too like there's like i feel like you know, I just, since I started in the pandemic at Interscope, I'm, we're just now going back to the office, so it's mm-hmm. easier for me to meet people in person and, like, get connections and stuff so I can work with you guys on, like, our music videos and things like that. So for sure. We'll be able to collab in the future. That's one of my favorite things is, like, yeah, now that I'm, like... Whole marketing budget, too. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm starting to, like, you know, we're grown and everything, like, all of my friends are in a different part of the industry, but we all still work, it all works together. Like, you right. know, some of our friends are in in touring, some of our friends are in PR, some of our friends, you know what I'm saying? But all of our jobs that, or production, whatever, all of our, our jobs are intertwined. Yeah. And it's so cool that we can all kind of like help, help each, other. each other out and connect to our different businesses that we work for. Like, I just think that's really dope. And all of us help each other kind of grow and move forward and teach each other stuff. And it's like, just exactly. really cool to be able yeah. to grow like that with your friends and your peers, you know? No, it's super dope. Yeah, just, especially to see like, even in this past year, year like how many people are just like starting to transition over to being bosses and so you know what i'm saying exactly. like it's like we all start somewhere but like to be able to make something out of it and like to be able to like use your networking use your connections and like actually make something of yourself like that's something i really like look up to especially about you like i like that's so dope like i literally like you started working with mills you just boss ass bitch i see you on all this fucking shit now like it's dope yeah, like, like seeing like, that like it's so inspiring kids i feel and now it's yeah. like our generation is like we're the next like people who are going to be in charge of shit and exactly like, we're starting to get into that now and it's like so exciting exactly Exactly. And yeah. especially like us being females too, like, you know, to like carry yourselves a certain way in the industry and have respect. It's like, it's hard to earn respect as a female. Oh God, here, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So especially like working with a label too. Like, you know, that's dope that you were able to go from like Fox and then like to Interscope and you have that respect and you know, you have these connections. And like, it's one thing to have connections, but like, it means nothing if they don't, you know, respect you or want to work with you. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like this 100%. is a whole other subject that we could go on about for hours, but yeah. it's like, so many times where you think you have an opportunity Fact. and then it's a guy saying like, wow, like I think you're so dope and you have like so much to offer and da, 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 da. And then they offer you this business thing. And then it's like, Oh, but like, let me take you out to dinner. dinner. Exactly. Yeah. About it. And I'm like, that I'm is like, the most frustrating. Exactly. We can do world. lunch or coffee, but dinner that's okay. right. Yeah. And it's like, there's always like hidden agendas with a lot of people out here. And there's a lot of people that will promise you things, but like, you know, it's, it will never yeah. happen. Like they yeah. have, that's happened to me so many times. Yeah. You know, I, know, yeah. I know you want to do like music stuff too, like A and R or whatever. Has have you had that experience with that type of situation too? Or as far as like people capping and saying they can like put me in a position they can't. Um, as far as the A and R shit, no. Like yeah. um, I am like right now I'm working with Rock Nation and that team is amazing. I literally love everybody in, that works with Rock. Um, and like everybody there respects me. You know what I'm saying? They all like respect my opinion, and because I'm like the youngest one, like with the label, they like appreciate like the the perspective i bring you know from like you know like what's hot right now you know what i'm saying like Mm -hmm. they like to get like a new perspective on that and then um no but i've never had an issue like with you know them over promising or like you know what i'm saying how old are you again i'm 20 okay awesome yeah oh wow you're the youngest one there yeah that's an accomplishment in itself i appreciate that you see that tiktok you're 20 you're 20 (laughs) (laughs) i'm 20 you're 20 yeah but no um it's definitely something, like, I'm excited to work my way up and, like, you know, um, be- eventually become, like, you know, somebody, like, I-, I plan on, you know, eventually working way up in rock. Right. At least. If so you're 20 like, and you're doing this now, imagine what you're going to be doing when you're 25. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I'm just glad, like, I was able to, you know, know that I wanted to transition to the business side quickly because, like, it's easy to get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. easy to, like, stay, like... Um, you know, I was like modeling. That's how I started off. Like, if you guys were wondering, I, I mean, 
my subscribers know that, but I would like started off in the industry, basically just modeling and then like, um, you know, going out and like networking. And that's really like how I met all the people, you know, I know it's just out networking, but it's like, um, I was able to like build these business relationships because I do try to carry myself a certain way. And I have tried to do that since I like moved out I here. I think that's really, really hard too, is like transitioning from a model to a business person is like people for some reason think that models are just like, Oh, she's like a video, she's a video girl. Person. So she's yeah. like getting with no, every sure. artist. I'm like, that's like you're we're hired for a job to come there and do our job at the set we're not it doesn't mean that the artist is hitting us up and we're hanging out with them that's not what it is exactly. some girls do that maybe. I was gonna I'm say. Like, but I'm like that I, that's not what if you are a model or of you're in a music video that doesn't mean that you're you know what I'm saying some type of whatever exactly you and it's hard to get for some reason hard to get respect and I it's guess it's the girls that yeah. do go yeah, yeah, yeah. and like sleep with every there's artist. a reason why yeah. that's hard to get respect it's because it's been it has to be earned and yeah. I, I and I completely it's get because that because it's been shown that that happens all the time right some people not all of them yeah no I, I get the, the generalizing like it's just like it's easy to get put into a box out here you know what I'm saying like, yeah, it's, just, it's so when people were like oh like you started a podcast oh you're doing it. like people are like what the fuck like when did she start doing that like because they thought that I was just a model you know what I'm saying and it's just like once you get put in that it's hard to like create a na- name for yourself and like, tr- like try to create your own brand mm-hmm. we're also going to show y'all model pictures too so they can see y'all outside this baggy clothes shit Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's how I be on the daily. I ain't gonna lie. We look sexy as ever. Fire in these clothes. You know what I'm saying? It's all face card at the end of the day. This you know? is, you is what I feel the most confident in. Me too. In. Y'all, y'all, Not y'all, y'all should see that we're gonna show the deck that we presented for this. The deck? Look, look, look at Kelly photo. <laughs> I know, look Ooh, at me. Bro, you look good. Wow. But you look good Period. as fuck right now. Insert that photo right here. Don't even try to put her. Insert our photo. Okay, but like, who looks like how they look in their fucking pose, model ass photos every day? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't some know. Some people do. Some, yeah. pe- some girls get up and do okay, their makeup with an outfit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, mm-mm. But I'm like, I think that like wearing- Well, also, Rudy texted me that she was- Gonna wear a sweatshirt, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I wear a sweatshirt. And, and Grace have to also wear a sweatshirt. <laughs> like, yeah, we're, we're, we're hoodie gang yeah, over here. Okay? What are we supposed to do? Wear a ball gown for right, a podcast? Exactly. Right. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, but a lingerie, can you body suit. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, no. We probably, you know, get more views than not. Can you give me some more orange <laughs> juice, Mimosa? <laughs> 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 Champagne and bikinis. Bringing out the bottles. Refill. Where's the bottle girls? Cute bottle girls. Emails the bottle men. Well, this is a women's show. We need to have bottle men. Oh yeah. Bird, Bird, take your shirt off. off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, question kind of like backtracking. Um, did you play college ball or yeah? Oh, fire for yeah. what team? What school? Old Dominion, where we both went. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Shorty is a fucking baller. That's fire. I literally like haven't I'm met that many females. Very retired now. Okay, but you still did so that. So nobody has to play one on one in the Bro, <laughs> can I just say? No, you I, don't understand. Anywhere we go, say, Where's the no. anywhere we go, guys are like, let me play one on one. And Rudy gets so mad. Like, she's like, I just don't understand why you guys always say that to her. Like, she <laughs> gets more single, mad than me. Like, every single man that we ever meet. <laughs> she's like, Yeah, I used to play college basketball. Like, oh, you're trash. Let me play you one on one. She's like, 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 It was just that masculine, like, need to be They just have like, to say it. Competitive. That's, that's, their, that's their way they think they can get in. Yeah. Right. Oh, facts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I get you're yeah. trying to have a conversation started, but I'm like, you sound corny. So sound PSA, corny. you sound Boo. corny. <laughs> tomato, tomato. tomato. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay, y'all. Uh, we finna get into the truth or drink segment of this video. Burr, 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 burr. We finna get crump. She. Okay, so basically, um, we finna get them a little lip because I'm about to ask some juicy ass questions. Are y'all ready? Ready. Yes. All right. So this is a question people don't normally like to answer, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to ask. What is your guys' body count? <clears throat> if you don't want to answer that. For personal reasons, I will not be answering that. Okay. So I will drink a lot. All right. For legal reasons. <laughs> for legal purposes. You guys are going to have to speak to my lawyer. You said you're going to take it all. That was a rule. I said a lot. That was a lot. No. I mean, I kind of remember her saying she would chug it, huh, Exactly. <laughs> she said I don't recall. In increments. In increments. <laughs> Oh, that was a lot of checking. Mills, throw me another juicy ass question. What's the oldest guy you slept with? I will answer that. And what is the answer? 34. 34. Not old. How about you? Oh, yeah. She said. 62. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I said 62. I, I, mean, I just processed what he said. I said, hold on, wait. That's um, not funny. <laughs> Bitches be trying to get that Chanel bag. <laughs> 62 is crazy. Not Kelly. Oh. I don't know about that one. 
Uh-uh. It's not 62, but I will not reveal. Was okay. It? Babe, you took another drink from that. <laughs> Damn. Uh-huh. All right, all right. Last one. Last one. Got to be like a banger. We got to end this shit with a banger. Um. I think okay. I already asked us that. Yeah, I mean, I asked oh, you guys. Yeah. You to... said if we had a threesome with a celebrity couple. Exactly. Yeah, I asked. I asked. Okay. Okay. Ask something okay. Uh, 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 uh. Do we have any other questions on her? Those already on her. Have you ever? Have you guys ever had like a a guy with a weird ass fetish? And if so, like, what was it? Yeah, I mean, foot fetishes are very common with me. Mm. With you? Okay. Yeah. Like you have feet that men just get yeah. turned on by. Pull them out. <laughs> say pull them out. Pull, pull your toes out. out. Pull I would say I have very nice toes. Put your toes on live. We'll give you a thousand dollars. Oh. Oh. How about you, Rudy? I have long ass toes. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, Little alien toes. <laughs> Little alien toes. Um, let me think. Let me think. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I feel like, wow, does that mean I just have vanilla men that I talk to? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, or you just don't like the ones that have fetishes, probably. They've never told. They've never asked me, like, let me do this thing, because this is what turns me oh, on. Or it's not a fetish to her. She's, or, yeah, yeah, maybe I just oh, think yeah. that's just normal. Oh, yeah. But, no, I don't think I've ever had a guy that was, like, like needs some certain weird thing to happen for him to be, like, turned on, I think. Hmm. Got it. How's you tell me your ex like to get rammed? Shut the fuck. Delete that from the tape. Cut the camera. (laughs) We're leaving that shit in. Cut the camera. All right. Um, I honestly think, I feel like I'm going to end the podcast there, y'all. So we're going to end that podcast. Thank you guys so much for being on it today. I appreciate both of you. Um, We're going to tap out with this episode, y'all. But make sure you tune in for the next one because we dropping bangers, y'all. Make sure you stay tuned. Turn on them post notifications. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.